long have you been painting? Informally, my whole life. I was mm -hmm. in business school during the day and painting at night. Tell us the story of anguish reaching into the sky. Very specific images that are being collaged in and then painted over. Those are all photographs I took around Harlem when I was in business school. I took a class called Social Impact Real Estate Investing. I was really interested in that memory of business school and me kind of playing the hand of God to put together this perfect development or perfect neighborhood or perfect deal structure. So there's me remembering the Harlem that I used to know mixed with how Harlem looked in 2019 and 2020. Can you talk a little bit more about the, the blue painter's tape? Yeah, the, the blue tape is important conceptually and in relation to the graph that's in the piece, I think of that blue tape as data points and being representative of the people in the community and the members of the community. And there's another piece. Can you talk about where these images of these sort of extraordinarily formal buildings come from? Sure. So those are all images of um, the University of Virginia. So that's where I went to undergrad. So it was a very challenging place um, to be as a Black student. But despite all of that, I had a extremely positive experience. In this piece, I was really interested in how the architecture of the university shaped my experience as a black student. Our black spaces are not permanent and they're transient and they're mobile and they have to move um, in contrast to the white spaces which are embedded in that formal architecture. And that architecture signals to us as black students like this, this space, it was built by you. UVA has a history of slave labor, but it wasn't designed for us to be there. It was um, the ability of the black students to reimagine the architecture, to create spaces that better served our needs. And the piece that really sticks out is the older piece, which is, you know, centers this baby. I was really interested in the neighborhood of Georgetown because there's a rich black history there that nobody really talks about. I came upon a graveyard that was thought to be a stop on the Underground Railroad, overgrown with weeds, but I discovered Nanny's grave. And the reason um, her tombstone was interesting to me is because someone had left this collection of antique dolls. Nanny died in 1856, um, just shy of her eighth birthday. You know, as African Americans, it's very hard to trace our ancestry. So I was really curious about who it is that was going to visit and it drew me in. Um, so I kept going back to visit her grave and I noticed that every year after her birthday, there'd be a new doll. So I started to document my encounters with her grave through these paintings. The cement and the way that it will fall and reveal is really interesting. It's like decay. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting, you know, your relationship to cities, particularly spatially, like the ways that you're sort of graphing black space and then abstracting that. Thank you so much for talking with me, Lindsay. This Thank is great you. to learn more background on some of the works. <laughs>